What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, November 8th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Damian Lillard from the Portland Trailblazers playing the LA Clippers, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, but they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Damian Lillard has scored 28, 34, and 48 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 43.8 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 34 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. Damian Lillard is 9,100 DraftKings salary and 700 more on FanDuel. At that salary, he's gonna need about 44 fantasy points to get you five times value. Implied total of this game is 225, plenty of points to go around, I love Damian Lillard in this high paced game at home. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all our DFS tools for NFL, and the tools for NBA are awesome. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Clay Thompson from the Golden State Warriors playing the Milwaukee Bucks who have a middle of the pack defense but they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Klay Thompson has scored 37, 30, and 30 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 30.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. Klay Thompson is only 6,000 DraftKings salary. At that price, he's gonna need about 28 fantasy points to hit five times value. He's projected at 33.5, and the implied total of this game is 238 points. That's a high total, high pace game. Clay Thompson playing at home. Okay, who do we have at the small forward position? I like Jalen Brown for the Boston Celtics playing the Phoenix Suns, who are the fourth worst defense overall and give up the sixth most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Jalen Brown has scored 23 and 24 fantasy points in his last two games averaging 21.4 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 29 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. Jalen Brown is 4,800 DraftKings salary, 600 more on FanDuel. At that price, he's gonna need about 25 fantasy points to hit five times value. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you wanna enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Danielio Gallinari for the LA Clippers playing the Portland Trailblazers, who are about middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up a and they give up the 11th most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Gallinari has scored 32, 22, and 38 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 32.2 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 29 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. Gallo is 6,000 DraftKings salary, 700 more on FanDuel. At that price, he's gonna need about 32 fantasy points to hit five times value. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Brooke Lopez for the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Golden State Warriors who have a great defense and they're about middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Brooke Lopez has scored 34, 20, and 13 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 21.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. Brooke Lopez is only 4,400 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel. The implied total of this game is 238 points. 
at that price, Brook Lopez is going to need about 23 fantasy points to hit five times value. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for week 9. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.